When the authorities in Romania read the paper, they want to see good news. That seems to be the reasoning behind President Traian Basescu's new national security strategy. Journalists who criticize public institutions are seen as a threat to national security. It's just state institutions sending out a message. Sometimes journalists' criticism can weaken a democracy, so this is a justified response. Unsurprisingly, the media is up in arms over the new measure. The president's spokesperson can say what he wants, but calling the media a threat to national security makes no sense. Romanian journalists are known for saying what they think. With public discontent mounting over the state of the economy, the press has openly denounced the government's handling of the crisis. Austerity plans include a 25% cut in civil servant benefits. In a country where the average salary is just 350 euros a month, the measure's not gone down well. The government is asking us to make even more sacrifices. We are saying no, and we stand firm on that issue. No to the government. A series of corruption scandals has also sent the government's popularity plummeting. Less than 20% of the population supports this government. If society is critical of the government, it's no surprise the press is too. But instead of fighting corruption, the Romanian president has chosen a more vulnerable enemy. And for many, the infringement on free expression is reviving dark memories of censorship during communist rule.